WLED version 13. Has anybody besides me poked in uh, to WLED 13, the latest and greatest? It's it's pretty sweet. Now, I've been using the 13 beta for a while, so I had to kind of it probably if you're jumping from 12 to 13, there's going to be even more cool changes. But the main thing to to say about WLED 13 is to me, the main thing is. We finally have calendars. We finally have calendars. So you can now say starting on December 1st, going until December 26th, play this preset this time of day. And you can say for the 4th of July, on the 4th of July, maybe that's the only day you want X preset to, to turn on. On your birthday, you want something to turn on. On uh, Valentine's Day or for the week up leading up to Valentine's Day, you want something to come on. So that is, to me, the numero uno thing in 13.1. And it wasn't in the betas. It wasn't in the betas, at least not that I saw. So this was kind of the last, the last icing on the cake. And it's awesome. I've been waiting for this for so long. Now, um, oh, this was a reminder to me to say, you know what? If you appreciate what Air Cookie's doing and you want to throw him a, buy him a coffee or a cheeseburger or whatever, here is his PayPal. Any sort of programmable LED, like cool light function stuff, it, he should be world renowned. Uh, and I'm not exaggerating. Like what he created with WLED is, has taken the whole thing to a whole new level. So thank you, Christian, for what you've done and what you continue to do. You are fantastic. We love you. Thank you. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to go through my uh, main WLED controller on my house, and we're going to set up the calendars. Seems like a good thing. I got to do it anyway, so let's do it together. Let's upgrade. You can see here that this one I've been using is 13 beta 6. So we're going to just change this to, to instead of being beta, it's just going to be 13.1. Um, so first things first. Uh, so to explain my system a little bit before we do this, uh, I have four controllers that kind of do the outside display on the house. One of them does the front of the house. One of them does the side of the house. And one of them does kind of the back. And then I have one on the playhouse, the little kid's castle playhouse in the backyard. Let's go through the update process. So this is my main LED controller for outside, okay? And uh, all my other controllers are synced to this one. So whatever this one does, those ones will do. Now, that doesn't mean update, but um, when it means like turning on, turning off, and for whichever uh, preset uh, colors and effects and all that stuff, it will transmit it to all the others and they will all follow what this one does. Uh, so that's that's fantastic, right? And we don't need each of them to be updated to 13.1. We just need the main one updated to 13.1 because that will uh, be the one with the calendars. So here's what you do. To update over the air, security and updates, right? So config, security and updates, scroll down to... Do, 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 do. Here it is, manual OTA update, okay. And the latest version is 13.1, so you can click on that right here. And if you're using, if you're using a, a DigiUno or DigQuad, then what you want is this 13.1 ESP32. If you have an Ethernet version of an Uno or Quad, you want the Ethernet version of this. All right. Half of you are going to need this and half of you are going to need this. It just depends on whether or not you're on Ethernet. OK, I'm not on Ethernet, so I would pick this. which I think I've already downloaded like four times. Back to my controller here. So now I'm going to choose the file. Once I've downloaded this, I'm going to choose it. And here it is. WLED 13.1 ESP32. OK. Open. And now once it's there, we're just going to hit update. And we'll wait. And hope it doesn't crash. I got my finger on the fail button, ready to go. <laughs> uh, new ver the latest version of WLED, which is 13.1. And most importantly to me, at least, is that it includes 
calendars. So we get to set our calendars. Awesome. So here we are now, we're back. Uh, it did an update, that was pretty quick. So we go to info, we're on 13.1, Toki, they named it, okay. Now, here's what we got over here. Let's, let's look at these uh, and see what uh, some of my um, presets are. We can kind of go back and forth to this, but let's start with the one that I like the most for Christmas, which is Color Winkle, which was supposed to be Color Twinkle, as some of you know. And I just call it Color Winkle because I missed the T. It's a little. All right, so Color Winkle is the playlist or is the preset that I like to use most for Christmas time. So we're going to remember that that's number two. Now we go into config. We go into time and macros. Make sure that you've got your NTP server checked. This way it will be synced with uh, whatever satellite time, internet time, etc. If you want to use the the sun up and sun down, then you got to put your your uh, longitude and latitude in here. I just have done it enough time. Oh, you can actually get location. Oh, look at that. Allow. Look at that. That's cool. Set in WLED. See? Oh, I was close. Forty point forty four, and minus one eleven. Set in WLED. That's new. Totally cool. Thank you for that. Wow. So that sets your time and it says it's 1150. Sets your time, sorry, sets your longitude and latitude so that you can do the sun up, sun down stuff. Sweet, time controlled presets. All right, here we go. Um, one thing to show you first is that uh, I have a preset for off. Okay, so if we go back real quick, capital T equals zero, we'll turn your lights off. So make a preset that is capital T equals zero as the API command in here and just call it off and that way you can you can set a, a timer to turn off the lights. So for me, at 10 o'clock every night, I turn the lights off. My neighbors appreciate that. Now, let's see here. Let's go right here. We're gonna say that uh, at Christmas time, it's gonna be the easiest one. At Christmas time, it gets dark around five. Yeah, five, that's a good time to turn on the Christmas lights. We want it to do preset number, what did I say it was, two? And then you click this little calendar button over here. Aha! You click that little calendar button and now we're going to say Monday through Saturday starting on, we're going to start them on December 1st and we're going to go until, not December 31st, we'll go till December, we'll give it, we'll give New Year's Eve a couple of days where we'll do fireworks. So we'll go to the 28th. Okay, so December 1st until December 28th, every night of the week at 5 o'clock it will play preset number two. And it, remember, it has to be enabled if for this to work. Okay, so now we're gonna save that. <laughs> victory, right? We're gonna victory, yes! Wow! <laughs> oh, man. Now, if you don't set anything, it will go from January 1st to December 31st. So that's all the time, right? So this is just kind of set by default to go year, year round always. And this is my turn off, right? Number five for me was turn off. Okay, so that one's good. All right, so next, now let's do another holiday. It's that simple. Next would probably be, let's do St. Patrick's Day. That's number 11. So we're gonna go back in here. We're gonna go back to macros. And we're gonna say, this uh, St. Patrick's Day is gonna be March. It's gonna be a little bit later in the year. So let's have them turn on at like 6.30 maybe. And then it's gonna be number 11. And we're gonna have it every day of the week. And we're gonna have it go from March, let's go March 7th until March 18th, right? Because 17th is St. Patrick's Day, so we'll do the March 18th. And make sure it's enabled. And that's it, we save that one. Pretty easy, right? Okay, let's do Valentine's Day. Totally need Valentine's Day. Let's do some more. All right, we gotta find Valentine's Day. So Valentine's Day, Valentine's Day. It's number 20, it's pink in the background and it just has a red line that kind of flows through, okay? So Valentine's Day is number 20. Let's go do that one. Time and macros. So this one is the one I already had. So let's just put the calendar on one I already had. So I guess I had it at six o'clock. So this is February. So at six o'clock, it would turn on number 20, right? So we're just gonna set the calendar now. We're gonna set the calendar to February and Febu we definitely need two full weeks. We definitely need two full weeks, right? We can't be skimping on Valentine's Day. 
So we got to go all the way. We're going to go to the 15th because I, I just always want to give them an extra day. It's like a bonus. The calendar feature, you can also go across year boundaries. So you could do January or December 1st to January 6th for Christmas stuff. Oh, okay. If you started beginning of December and you wanted to pass through January, it's not, it's not, it's not going to freak it out because it changes the year. Awesome. Awesome. February 1st, February 6th, uh, 15th, we're going to do effect number 20, save. And now here's a fun one. Here's a fun one. I'll do one more of these because I think we've, we've, you guys get it, right? Let's look at the football ones, okay? Well, we got a couple of them, right? I got that. I got this one. And I got this one. This is the one I want to come on every Saturday in the fall. This is number one. This is for college football for all you international fellas. Macros down here. This is on Saturday. So we need it to actually come on in the morning, even though you might not be able to see them. You might. We're going to make this effect number one. Now when we do the calendar, we want it to come on only on Saturday. So I'm going to take off all those other boxes. It's unlikely that we'll play very often the at the very end of August, but we'll try something in there. We'll put like August 25th and we'll have it go through somewhere around there and then make sure it's enabled. So there we go. How's that look? Does that look good? So 10 in the morning and they're going to come on on Saturdays all the way from August through December. Pretty sweet. What we set up here was so intuitive, right? To me, this, this thing now down here, this is super intuitive. So simple. So simple. Certain time of day, certain days of the week, certain days of the year, play a certain preset. Like, boom, done. Right? That's true. There is air cookie. Yes. Dude, thank you, thank you, thank you. I did not know this was coming this soon. I know you gave me the teaser a while back about the calendars. I didn't think it was coming this soon because I'd been kind of doing the betas, you know, and I didn't see it in there. Maybe it was there and I didn't see it, but so awesome, dude. So awesome. Like, I know you'll keep working on it. You got other people that are working on it, but I have no more requests. Okay. I'm making no more requests of you for WLED stuff. You have done it all, my friend. You can, you can just sit back. Everything now is just icing. Putting the calendars in there has just done it. It is completo. So thank you, my friend.